in this video, I'm gonna be walking through how you can enable Okta authentication and authorization with your web application. And specifically, we're going to be walking through this super lightweight PHP app. And in this GitHub repo that I'll be sharing with you guys, you'll be able to just go into it and from this Docker Compose file, all it's doing is downloading a very lightweight image off of uh, the Docker Hub. And we're gonna be running this on port 80. And so if we do this right now, um, what we're going to see, if I just run the command of docker compose up after you clone this repo, is that it is going to start running a little web server for us. And I'm just going to open up this page right here. And if we go to localhost, we can see that right now it has a little login page. And we have not done anything yet because uh, we have to go into the Okta developer console and then create an application for us. So we'll be doing that. Um, so the very first thing we're going to be doing in order to kick this process off uh, is to go to the page developer.okta.com. I'm going to make this full screen and then I'm going to click on sign into Okta here. I'm going to be using my GitHub account. You guys can use whatever you'd like. Okay. So uh, now that we are in the uh, developer page, there are things to call out here. So basically what we're gonna do is we click on applications right here and then applications again. And we're going to click on create app integration. And we're going to pick the first one here, the OIDC OpenID Connect. And we're going to say that this is for a web application. And I'm gonna click on next. And um, we're gonna give this thing a name so I can call this like VS PHP Okta demo or whatever you'd like. Uh, and I'm going to not change any of this other stuff. Uh, we're gonna keep it all as defaults. The one thing I will change, uh, or multiple things, um, but the sign in redirect URI, I'm going to make this, I'm gonna delete that entire thing, and I'm just going to have this go to port 80 uh, on the local host that I have right now, and make sure you've got that trailing slash, otherwise it might not work. And we're gonna do the very same thing for the uh, sign out URI, um, just do it like that. And now, uh, just keep scrolling down. And in terms of assignments, this is another thing you need to select. Um, so I'm going to say, allow everyone in my org to access this um, and leave this box checked. If you don't do this, it won't work. Um, so then click save. And uh, while this thing is going, uh, it's going to give you this page where you have a client ID, as well as a client secret. Um, so I'm going to make this half screen and then we'll do the other half of the screen with uh, the VS code. I'm going to go to index right now and if you've cloned the uh, repo um, what you'll see is this client ID right here. So you're going to just copy that to your clipboard, paste that guy in, um, and this is going to be unique to your account. Uh, and then you're also going to have this client secret and you can view it, um, but ideally you just click on this copy to clipboard button right there and you're going to paste that in and I'm going to delete this after this video so uh, you guys will have to make your own unique client ID secrets uh, and then I'm just going to keep scrolling down here and uh, in terms of that redirect URI again make sure you're consistent with what we did on the last page so it's port 80 of our local host in this case um, and now in terms of the Okta org I'm going to be changing this click on your in the top right here and it will tell you um, your specific Okta org and as a developer you get a you know this, this name that has a bunch of numbers after it so just take that and paste it right in there like that um, so that is the Okta org that's going to go into the metadata URL um, and then I'm going to click save here and uh, that's all you need to do so uh, I, I try to make this as simple as easy uh, as possible for you guys so um, I've saved this and now I'm going to go back to that local host page and note how we're getting that warning when we don't have any values in there currently. So when I refresh this uh, and give it a moment, we should see that warning go away. Great. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on this login link right here. And what's happening, and we'll walk through this in the code, but what is happening in the back end right now is that it's checking to see if I'm already authenticated with my Okta org. And if I am, it's going to come back and uh, it's going to return the username that I have. So in my case, this is pulling my GitHub username and that's what's being returned to Okta, which is then returning it to my PHP web application to show me my username right here. So just like that, in about five minutes, 
uh, you have this thing working. And now for the second part here, I'm gonna walk through how this works because I think that's very important too. Um, but basically I'm going to just make uh, VS Code full screen. And um, yeah, so at the top of the file, we are defining those parameters that we've already pasted in. Um, we are also forming a metadata URL. Um, and we're also defining a function in PHP called HTTP. And basically its job is to send a get request to a URL. And then if we're passing any arguments into it, it will uh, post those arguments to that URL. Um, and so we're gonna be calling that multiple times, which is the reason why in the Okta documentation they've done that. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna be doing inside of our PHP app is checking to see if a code has been posted to our particular page. Um, so we're checking to see if uh, during a get request there's this code object or, or, or variable. And if there is one, then that means that the authorization server, which Okta was hosting, has returned it to us. And in addition to the code, um, there's going to be a state associated in this, in this object that's coming from the authorization server on Okta's end. And so what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the state corresponds to the same, is equivalent to the same state that um, our web server asked from, or, re, or forwarded the request onto uh, the authorization server from. So that's what this line's doing right here. Um, it's part of the authentication process. Uh, and then also checking to see if there's any errors present, it'll, it'll report them if there are any. Um, and so if we have a response that, uh, or a, a call to our PHP web app that includes the code as well as uh, a valid state, then um, we're going to use this code to again call back Okta and see if we can get a access token from this code. And um, if there's an error getting that access token, then we'll know something's up. Uh, but if not, then we can use that access token that comes from Okta to determine the uh, stuff like, and this is what you use the introspection endpoint. So it's a built-in parameter of the metadata that's returned from you from Okta. Uh, and so with that, you are able to then determine the username. So in my case, uh, on that web app right here, that username was this because we had a valid token, a, a valid code and a valid state. Uh, when we made that particular request. Um, and so that's how it all works. And it's just redirecting us to the index or root of our web app. Um, and so um, that's that's what's going on. We are using sessions in PHP to persist. Uh, you know, the, when, a, when a user's logged into or, or accessing our website, uh, we are remembering that stuff on the server side because it's PHP. Um, and yeah, so you guys can read through the rest of this code. Uh, they do have some decent documentation on it, but for me, I just had to kind of make this proof of concept demo to really understand it. Um, and I hope you guys, I, I tried to comment this as well too, just to make things a little bit more clear in terms of what they're doing. Um, but this is that HTTP function we're calling a lot uh, for making all those requests and posting data to you know certain endpoints. Um, but yeah, so if you've made it this far, congratulations. Uh, pretty straightforward and easy. Hope this is helpful stuff. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you all for watching and be well.